Welcome to Jordan Valve Maintenance Videos. This is a Mark 50 disassembly and rebuild. These are the tools you will need. Spanner wrench. Two opened end wrenches. Flat head screwdriver, torque wrench and socket, a flashlight, a light machine oil such as 3 in 1, some anti seize compound, and Loctite 290. These are the items included in the repair kit. Diaphragm, plate, disc guide, disc, disc pin, stem, index pin, and lock nut. Ensure that the disc pin fits into the hole on the back of the disc. This should fit freely with no binding. Begin disassembly by backing off the adjusting screw all the way until there is no more tension left on the range spring. Next, loosen all the bolts on the spring housing. and remove the spring housing from the valve. Next, remove the range spring. Remove the diaphragm assembly by rotating counterclockwise until loose from the stem. Place the valve in the vise with the cap facing up. Remove the cap and body bolts and the nuts from the studs. Remove the cap. and remove the seats from the valve. They should lift out freely. With the opened end wrenches, loosen up the lock nut that is on the stem next to the disc pin. Then unthread the two parts and remove the stem from the body. Next, remove the disc pin from the body. Place the diaphragm assembly into the vise. Then with a spanner wrench, remove the lower diaphragm plate by rotating counterclockwise until it is loose from the assembly. Now we are ready for the rebuild of the valve. Install the new diaphragm on the plate. Put a little Loctite 290 on the threads of the lower diaphragm plate. Assemble hand tight. Then tighten clockwise with your spanner wrench until the diaphragm slightly umbrellas. Place 
place the new disc bin into the body and then thread the stem through the lock nut and into the disc bin until it bottoms out. And then with your opened end wrenches, tighten the lock nut securely against the disc pin. Next, thread the diaphragm assembly onto the stem. a little bit of anti-seize compound on the outside of the disc guide. Next insert this into the body bore with the hole for the index pin facing you. Place the small index pin into the hole On the back side of the disc there will be an arrow. This arrow will point toward the index pin. Place into the valve by slipping the hole in the back of the disc onto the disc pin. Put a couple of drops of light machine oil on the disc. This will help lubricate it as it moves. And then place the plate over the index pin as shown. Then place a light coat of anti-seize on the outside of the plate. Reinstall the cap and the cap body bolts. Then using your torque wrench, torque to the values that are found in the Mark 50 INM. With the valve placed upright as shown, place the springs on the diaphragm plate. Install the spring housing over the springs. At this point you only need to hand tighten two to four bolts. Place a flathead screwdriver through the body opening on the valve. Pry up on the disc pin. At this point you want to see if the orifices in the disc are aligned with the orifices in the plate. You can do this by shining in a flashlight. If they are not, then remove the spring housing. and rotate the diaphragm assembly clockwise or counterclockwise as needed. Reinstall and check again. Once your seats are in alignment you can reinstall the spring housing bolts and torque per the values that are in the Mark 50 INM. At this point, run the adjusting screw back down until you feel spring tension and then you have successfully rebuilt the Mark 50.
you have any questions about this video, please email us or contact us at the phone number listed on the screen. Also, be sure to visit our website, www.jordanvalve.com, for more information. Thanks for watching.